Hi everyone, in this video I am going to solve Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper 2 Extended in a session May June 2023 Paper 2 2. So let's start with the first question. Question number 1, find the temperature that is 8 degrees Celsius colder than minus 5 degrees Celsius. So it's colder, so from minus 5 degrees Celsius, 8 degrees colder, so it's minus 8 degrees Celsius. This is negative 13 degrees Celsius. Question number 2, there are two prime numbers in this list. Uh, work out the sum of these two prime numbers, right? 27 is not a prime number, 47 is a prime number, 57 is not a prime number, let me check. 57 is divisible by 3, yes. 61 is a prime number, 75 is divisible by 5 and 93 is divisible by 3, right. So 47 is a prime number and 61 is a prime number. We have to find the sum of two prime numbers, 47 plus 61, which is 108, right. Question number three, on 10 days, Stephen records the number of minutes he has to wait for the train. Uh, part A, complete the stamp and leave diagram to show this information, right? So with one and three or zero, we did one, three, okay? With one, we have 12. Okay, what else with zero? It's uh, four, five, five, and eight. So four, five, five and eight okay then with one it's 12 and it's 11 so 11 and 12 right and the next one is with two 23 and 24 so it's three and four now for part b find the median median is the middle value of the data since there are 10 values, because the question is about on 10 days, right? So these are 10 values, so we have to find the average of two middle values, right? So we have to count the middle values 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. The middle values is 5 and 8, right? The average of 5 and 8 is a median. 5 plus 8 and divided by 3, right? So this is 5 plus 8 divided by, sorry, dividing by 2, not 3, in average, we have to divide it by half. This is 6.5 minutes is the median. Right. Question number four. The distance from town A to town B on the map is 3.5 centimeters. Uh, the scale on the map is this much. Find the actual distance in kilometers from town A to town B. Okay. So we have given 3.5 centimeters. Right. So 3.5 centimeters we have given. So we have to find this is one ratio of something. So it means 3.5 times 250,000. This is in centimeters, right? 250,000 times 3.5. This would be 875000 centimeters, right? We have to convert centimeters into kilometers. We know that one kilometer has 100,000 centimeters, right? So to convert it into centimeters, we have to divide it by 100,000, right? Dividing by 100,000, this would be 8.75 kilometer, right? Question number five, a spinner is spun. The possible outcome are A, B, C, and D. The probability of spinning A, C, or D is shown in the table. Complete the table. We have to find the probability for B as we know that sum of all probabilities equals to one. So we can do one, subtract 0 0.2, subtract 0 0.05, subtract 0 0.35. This is 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is the probability for B, right? Question number 6. We have a universal set from 1 to 20. E is the even numbers. So the even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. 
and the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, and 20, right? Now we have to find number of elements in set M are 4. There are 4 elements in set M. And number B, find the element in the set E intersection M. E and M, their intersection. 10 is common and 20 is common. So 10 and 20 are the common elements, right? Now for part C, Y does not belong to E. So Y is some element which does not belong to E. This is set E. Uh, write down a possible value of Y. Okay, so what are the possible values of Y? So the set E has even numbers. The possible values of Y are odd numbers between 1 to um, between 1 to 20, yes. Because uh, the universal set we have given X lies between 1 to 20. All the numbers between 1 to 20. So the possible value of Y, we can say that um, Y can be an odd number or a decimal number in the range one is less than equals to x is less than equals to 20 sorry it's uh, y not x it's y Question number seven, without using a calculator workout, you must show your working and give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form, as a fraction. Okay, so this is four by seven and we have to do a division. 21 times 21 is 21 and 21 plus five is 26 out of 21, right? For the simplification, we have four by seven times the reciprocal is 21 over 26, right? Now we have 7 times 1 is 7 and 7 times 3 is 21. 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6, right? So this is 2 times 3 over uh, 1 times of 13, right? So 6 out of 13 in its simplest form as a fraction. Question number 8, we have to solve part A. So let's do the cross multiplication. This is 30 out of 6. This is the x value and 6 times 5 is 30. Right. Now for part B, we have 11x minus 3 is greater than or equals to uh, 2 times 2 is 4x and 2 times 9 is 18. Combining the x terms, 11x minus 4x is greater than or equals to 18 plus 3. Right, so 11 take away 4, 11 take away 4 is 7x is greater than equals to 18 plus 3 is 21. Dividing by 7 on both sides, so x is greater than or equals to 3. This is the final answer. Question number 9, F is the point 1 minus 4, G, F is given, G, H is given. Find number A, 3 times of G, H. So this is 3 times of 8 and minus 3. 3 times 8 is 24 and 3 times 3 is 9. So it's negative 9. Now for part B, uh, F, G and G, H, the sum of 2. So this should be 8 minus 3. Add up to minus 12 and 35. 8 minus 12 is minus 4. And from 35 take away 3 is 32. Right. Now for part C, the coordinates of point G. Okay. So we have to solve for OG, which is equals to, um, wait, we have to solve for OG, yes. So we have the point F and we have FG using this information that fg is equals to og minus of so og should be equals to fg plus of fg is this and of is this right fg is a point 8 minus 3 plus of is 1 minus 4 so 8 plus 1 is 9 minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7 
part d the magnitude of the vector g h you have the vector g h we have to solve the magnitude which is square root of minus 12 square plus 35 square okay so 12 square plus 35 square and square root is 37 So the magnitude of uh, 37, GH is 37. Question number 10. Part A, describe fully the single transformation that maps shape A onto shape B. Okay, so A to B. This is a shape A. Oh, this is a line, so this would be the reflection, right? So it is a reflection. And we have to find along which line it is reflected. So I guess y equals to 2, this line, it has a reflection. Yes, it's a reflection along a line y equals to 2. Reflection along a line y equals to 2, right? Now for part B, rotate shape A 90 degree clockwise about the sand point minus 1, 2. So X is minus 1 and Y value is 2, minus 1 and 2. This should be the center of rota uh, rotation, yes. And we have to rotate shape A and the rotation is 90 degree and it should be clockwise, right. So for rotation, let me use a tracing paper over here. And first, let me trace the shape A. Right, so this is a center of rotation, which is minus 1 and 2. Let me rotate this shape about the center 90 degree and it should be clockwise. So 90 degree clockwise rotation is this point so these are the points minus 2 minus 2 and minus 4 minus 2 and minus 6 minus 3 and minus 6 minus 5 right minus 2 minus 2 and minus 4 minus 2 with minus 6 we have minus 3 sorry and minus 6 minus 5 and we connect all the points all right this is shape a of the rotation right Moving to part C, enlarge uh, shape A by the scale factor of negative 2 and the center is 2, 0, right? So the center is 2, 0. X is 2, Y value 0. Scale factor is minus 2. It means it is on the opposite side of the center. Its center is over here. The shape should be on the opposite side, right? Okay, so now let me find the distance from the center 1 and 2. So 1 unit to the right, 1 up. So this is 1, 1. 1 and 2 sorry so this point is 1 right and 1 down this is 1 minus 1 what about this point 1 right and how much 1 and 2 right and 1 2 3 down so 2 right and 3 down minus 3 this point is 1 2 3 4 right and 1 2 3 down 4 4 and minus 3 okay now we have to multiply it by the scale factor which is 2 times it by 2 times by 2 times by 2 and times by 2 right we will get a new one so this should be 2 4 this point is 2 negative 2 this point is 4 and minus 6 this is 2 times 4 is 8 and 2 times 3 is negative 6. Right, so from the center we have to calculate all the distances, 2, 4. So 2 units to the right we have to move. 
sorry the scale factor is negative 2 yeah it's minus minus this is minus and this is plus this is minus this is plus this is minus and this is plus so times by minus 2 here right so two units left one two and four up one two three four the point is zero four sorry i did the mistake here so this point is one right and one up so it is one one so this is two minus two minus two right so two and two two down yes so two units left and two units down this would be the point this is zero and negative two so this is minus two and plus two so minus two and plus two so this is zero two right this uh, the next point is minus four and six one two three four and six one two three four five six this is minus two six minus eight and six one two three four five six seven eight and one two three four five six minus six six right let me connect all the points to get the enlarged shape a okay these two connect it with this one and with this shape okay this is in large shape a. i hope you can see this line right. question number 11 the diagram shows a shape a b c d a b c and d this the shaded one is the shape formed by the sectors of two circles right so the first circle the two sector o c d is the sector and o b a is the sector right with the same center which is o both sector a angles are 140 degrees so this sector angle is 140 degree right o c we have given is 3.2 centimeter and c b is 2.6 centimeter the area of the shape is k by centimeter square. Find the value of k. So area of the shape, area of this sector. So basically this is a sector of a circle. So we have to work on area of a sector of a circle. This is in degree. So we have to use a formula for degree. Okay. So area of a sector of a circle. Area of sector of a circle is theta over 360 degree times pi r square right so if i consider the whole sector o b and a right so the sector o b a the whole sector o b and a this whole thing the theta is uh, 140 degree over 360 degree and pi and the radius is the whole is the radius 3.2 and 3.6 let me add 3.2 plus 2.6 this is 5.8 5.8 square right so 5.8 square times it by pi times it by 140 divided by 360 this is 41.09 nine nine zero one three two three centimeter square right okay so this is the area of the whole sector o b and a now we have to find the area of this sector o c d right sector o c d is again the angle is 140 over 360 by times the radius is 3.2 whole square right so we have to do 3.2 square times it by pi times it by 140 divided by 360 and this should be 12.5105 2008 centimeter square right 
now we have to find the area of a shape so when uh, this is the shape a b c d so area of a shape is basically the whole area area of a sector o o a b and then subtracting the unshaded one right so area of a shape is from this area we have to subtract that one 41.099 we have to subtract 12.5 one zero right so we have to do 41.09901323 subtract answer this is 28 this is 28.588 okay we have to keep our answer in terms of pi it should be k pi centimeter square so let me um, divide it by pi or yeah so 9.09 .09, uh, so this is 9.1 by centimeter square question number 12 one solution of the equation ax square plus b is equals to 181 is x equals to 8 a and b are both positive integers and greater than 1 part a find uh, the value of b okay so a times x is 8 square plus b equals to 181 this is 64a plus b equals to 181 okay to solve for the value of b the there are two unknowns a b so we need two equations here but we have given the uh, condition that a and b both are positive integers and they should be greater than one not equals to one it should be more than one and it should belongs to positive integers right so let me take the positive integer two right let a equals to two so when a is two 64 times two plus b equals to 181 so b value is 181 take away 64 times 2 is 128 and 181 subtract 128 is 53 so the b value is 53 right you can take another uh, value uh, a equals to 3 let's say a value is 3 64 times 3 and from 181 subtract the answer it should be negative so b should be positive so the only value of b is 53 right now for part b write down the other solution of the equation ax square plus bx b equals to 181 so a value is 2x square plus 53 equals to 181 so this is 2x square equals to 181 take away 53 181 take away 53 and divide it by 2 is 64 so x square is 64 so what is x x should be equals to plus minus square root of 64 and square root of 64 is 8 so this is plus minus 8 so the first solution is positive 8 and the other solution is negative 8 right question number 13 a b c and d are the points on a circle a b is parallel to d c a b is parallel to d c and angle a c d is 32 degrees a c d is 32 degrees right uh, chord a c a to c and d to b intersect at e find the value of x right okay so we have given the angle a c and d is 32 so a b d is also 32 angle subtended by the same arc are equal a c d a b d right okay and what else so the center of a circle is we have given e is the center wait e is not the center but um, these two are chords a c and b d are the chords and they are intersecting at e so the the length of a e e b e d and e c is same right so this length and this length is equal so this angle is also same this is considering this is an isosceles triangle right okay so sides are same two angles are same so to solve for x we have to do 180 take away 32 degrees and take away 32 degrees right 
So from 180 minus 32 minus 32, this is 116 decreases the value of x, right? Now question number 14, we have f of x, find f inverse of x. So we have to do y equals to the function f of x. Now switching the variables, we have x is equals to 5y plus 2 and x minus 2 dividing by 5 is your y and this y is my f inverse of x, right? f inverse of x is x minus 2 by 5, okay? Question number 15, C is the point 5 minus 1 and D is the point 13, 15, part A, find the midpoint of C, D. So the midpoint of C, D is adding the x component which is 5 plus 13 and dividing by 2 and adding the y components and dividing by 2. Okay, so 5 plus 13 is um, 18 I guess. 5 plus 13, yes, 18 by 2 is 9. And 15 take away 1 is 14 by 2 is 7. So 9 and 7 is the midpoint of CD. Right. Now for part B, find the gradient of CD. Okay, gradient has a formula which is y2 minus y1, 15 and minus minus 1 over x2 minus x1 13 minus 5 so 15 plus 1 is 16 and 13 take away 5 is 8 yes it's 8 and 8 times 2 is 16 so 2 is the gradient right now for part c find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of cd um, give your answer in the form of y equals to mx plus c, right? Perpendicular bisector of cd, it means first we need the slope of perpendicular bisector of uh, cd, which is cd, sorry, negative reciprocal of the slope of cd, right? And uh, we have to use the equation y equals to mx plus c. To solve for c, we have to use the midpoint, which is 9, 7 x is 9, y is 7, so 7 equals to minus 1 by 2 times 9 plus c, right? Now to get the c value, we have 7 plus 9 by 2. This is the c value, right? 9 by 2 plus 7, this is 23 by 2, right? So y is equals to um, minus 1 by 2x plus 23 by 2. This is the equation of perpendicular bisector of CD. Question number 16, write 0 0.621 as a fraction in its simplest form. You must show all your working. Okay, so here 2 and 1 are recurring, right? Uh, so x, let's say x equals to 0 0.6 to 1 to 1 and so on, right? Now, uh, 6 is not recurring, so let me multiply it by 10. So, 10x equals to 6.2121 and so on, right? So, keep the non-recurring part uh, before the decimal, right? So, 10 times 0 0.621 is 6.21, yes. Now, let me shift this recurring part on before the decimal. So, if I multiply... Uh, 6.21 to 100 yes when we are multiplying it by 100 so 10 times 100 is 1000 x and this is 621.21 to 1 and so on right now we have to do a subtraction of these two right so we can do from here 1000 x and 10x, this should be 621.21, and this is 6.21. Question number 17, the diagram shows a triangle with an acute angle marked x degree. The area of the triangle is this, work out the value of x. So we have given the area of a triangle which is 2143. This is equals to half the two sides which are 92.5 centimeters and 71 centimeter and sine of angle x right 
so here we have to solve for x so this should be 2143 times by 2 divided by 92.5 times 71 and this is sin x right now we have to solve for x let me do the calculation 2 times 2143 okay x should be equals to sine inverse of 40 4286 over and 71 times 92.5 right and this is 6567.5 right so 4268 divide answer doing sine inverse of answer this is 40.7 degree 40.7 degrees right question number 18 uh, make x the subject of the formula right so we have 2x minus 5 times by c this should be equals to 3x right so 2xc minus 5c shifting the 3x over here minus 3x equals to 0 right combining the x term which is 2c and minus 3 and this should be equals to 5c and x is equals to 5c over 2c minus 3 2c minus 3 right this is the x value 5c over 2c minus 3 question number 19 m is inversely proportional to the square of t plus 2 m is 0 0.64 when t is 3 find m when t is 8 right so we have given m is inversely proportional to the square of t plus 2 right so m equals to some constant of proportionality over t plus 2 whole square right we have to solve for k the constant of proportionality when m value is 0 0.64 and t value is 3 0 0.64 uh, times it by t value is 3 plus 2 whole square is the k the constant of proportionality 3 plus 2 is 5 and 5 squared is 25 so 25 times 0 0.64 this is 16 so k is 16 right so now we have an equation m equals to 16 out of t plus 2 whole square right now when t is 8 so we have 16 over 8 plus 2 whole square which is 16 out of 8 plus 2 is 10 10 squared is 100 and 16 over 100 is 0 0.16 yes it's 0 0.16 is the m value right now question number 20 in the Venn diagram shade the region A intersection B complement intersection C right so this is a set A and its intersection with B complement this is a set B B complement is a region outside of B all the region that is outside of B and we have to find that intersection with the set A so this should be the shaded one right and this intersection with the set C this whole set C is only this one is the intersecting part. The shaded one, sorry. Let me explain one more time. A, its intersection with B complement. This is a set B, the region that is outside of B means the whole of this. A is shaded, right? And then this shading portion with the C, so this is the only shaded one. Question number 21, solve the equation for x is between 0 to 360 degrees, right? So we have sine x should be equals to negative 3 by 5, right? And x should be equals to sine inverse of positive 3 by 5. We have to solve first. It is in degrees. My calculator is in degrees. So sine inverse 3 by 5 is 36.86. x is... 36.86 degrees right now using the cast rule we have to check sine is negative in which quadrant and then we have to find out the two values of x right okay so c a s t 
T sine is positive in first and second. It's negative in third and fourth quadrant. So for third quadrant, we have the rule that uh, x should be 180 plus that x value. 180 degree plus 36.86. Right. So 180 plus 36.86. This should be 216 point six eighty six degrees right and we have it's positive in the fourth quadrant as well so fourth uh, it's negative sorry sine is negative in fourth quadrant so the x should be equals to 360 take away 36.86 right so 360 minus 36.86 this is 323.14 so 323.14 degrees right so these are the two solutions question number 22 write as a single fraction in its simplest form right so cross multiplication 5 times 2x minus 1 plus 4 times 3x plus 2 and divided by we have 3x plus 2 into 2x minus 1 right for the simplification 5 times 2 is 10x minus 5 plus 4 times 3 is 12x plus 4 times 2 is 8 over 3x plus 2 into 2x minus 1 right so 10 and 12 is 22 so this is 22x and uh, 8 take away 5 is 3 plus 3 over the two factors are 3x plus 2 and 2x minus 1. This is the simplest fraction. Question number 23. Bag A and bag B each contain red sweets and yellow sweets. Right, red and yellow. Uh, Anna picks a sweet at random from bag A at random. Ben picks a sweet at random from bag B. The probability that Anna picks a red sweet is 2 by 5. The probability Anna and Ben both pick yellow sweet is 1 by 10. Find the probability that Anna and Ben both pick red sweet. So we have given the probability that Anna picks a red sweet is 2 by 5, right? Uh, the probability of red from bag A because she picked from bag A is 2 by 5 and the probability of uh, yellow from bag A is 3 by 5 right the probability that Anna and Ben both pick yellow sweets so the probability yellow from bag A intersection yellow from bag B because Ben picked from bag B and Anna picked from bag A right so this is 1 out of 10 so this is equals to probability yellow from bag a which is 3 by 5 times probability yellow from bag b this is 1 by 10 right so this is 3 by 5 and times probability of yellow from bag b is 1 by 10 right so the probability of yellow from bag b is 1 by 10 and times by the reciprocal which is 5 by 3 5 times 2 is 10 and this is 1 out of 6 right so the probability of yellow from bag b is 5 out of 6 it means the probability of yellow from bag a is 5 out of 6 right now the question is we have to find the probability that anna and ben both pick a red sweet right so probability uh, red sweet from bag a intersection red sweet from bag b right so this should be probability of red from bag a times the probability of red from bag b right so probability of red from bag a right so red from bag a is 2 by 5 right and red uh, sorry this is red from bag a yes so the probability of um, yes the probability of yellow from bag b is this and the probability of red from bag b yellow is this and red would be this this is times 5 by 6 right so this 5 is cancelled with 5 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 3 6 so that probability is 1 out of 3 
so that was the last question of our paper if you if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching see you next time take care